everyone. Today with you me, Natalia Dolzhenkova from school number 18. Let's start! By the end of our today lesson, you will be able to talk about how can you travel in the world using the degrees of comparison of adjectives. Move on. And I'd like to start with the reading of an advert for a holiday on an island. Is it in the world, in the world or not? If you go somewhere on an island. Yeah. Do you need a holiday? Our island is a great place to come. In the east of the island are beautiful mountains, perfect for climbing or walking. In the south are quiet beaches. Relax there and swim in the warm blue sea. In the north you can see our famous waterfall. And in the west is the desert an amazing place to visit. It is worth traveling to this fantastic place. We have read this advert and now let's underline all the adjectives in, the, in it. The first one, what place? Right, great place. What mountains? Beautiful mountains. Perfect for what? For climbing and walking. What are the beaches? Yeah, they are quiet. Warm and blue sea. Move on. What about waterfalls? Famous waterfall. What about the desert? What kind of place is it? Right you are. An amazing, amazing place. And this island. What kind of place is it? Yeah, this fantastic place. And we underlined all adjectives in this advert. Okay, what is the position of all of them? Before or after the nouns? Right, we usually use all the adjectives before the nouns. When you want what? To describe something. Right now, I'd like to work a bit with the parts of the island. And pay your attention to these parts. Where are beautiful mountains and perfect place for climbing or walking? Right, it's in the east. Where can you find quiet beaches? Right you are, they are in the south of the island. Where can you see a famous waterfall? in the north of it and where you can visit an amazing place such as the desert. Yeah, it's in the west of the island. That is, adjectives describe nouns and go before them. OK. 
keep it on and uh, there are two types of uh, adjectives they are short one which are one or two syllables adjective and the long one which are two or more syllables and two degrees of comparison comparative when do we usually use them when we have two objects or two people and we want to compare them between each other and superlative when we have a lot of objects or more than two and we want to show that is one in the whole group. Ready? Let's move on and try to use our comparative and su superlative form of short adjectives. If you want to compare two people or two objects and to form the comparative form of uh, the adjective great, you need to add suffix er to this short adjective. Don't forget that is great, greater than and if we are talking about superlative, you need to use before the adjective definite article the and change the suffix into est. That is great, greater, the greatest. Okay. To do the summing up, what can we say about short adjectives? Right. If you want to form comparative adjective, you need to add what? Suffix er and then. If you want to use superlative form of the short adjective, use definite article the and suffix est. Warm warmer than the warmest quite quieter the quietest uh, what were quiet in our advert yeah you are right there were beaches okay to form the comparative form of long adjectives you need to add more and put it before the adjective. Don't change the adjective at all. Only add more before it. Superlative. Don't forget about our definite article the and the most plus adjective. You need to use it before it. Perfect. More perfect than. And the most perfect. Fam famous. More famous than the most famous. Amazing. More amazing and the most amazing. Today we discussed two types of adjectives. They are short and long ones and they are comparative and superlative form of adjectives. Let's have more practice. Right now uh, we are going to work with some more information which uh, is connected with uh, the surrounding places and activities which you can do while 
you are traveling. And our first task is to write questions. You need to use only comparative form of the adjectives. Okay, we have some uh, words and we need to write what? Yeah, questions. Which drink nice oranges or lemonade? Nice, that is a comparative form of the adjective. Short adjective? No. Let's do it. Which drink is nicer? Orange juice or lemonade? I think, as for me, I think orange juice is nicer. Which island small? Iceland or Madagascar? Let's write the correct question. Which island is smaller? Iceland or Madagascar? I know that Iceland is smaller. Which continent big? Africa or Asia? Is it correct? No, we need to write the correct one. Which continent is bigger? I'd like to pay your attention to double G in the comparative adjective bigger. I think Asia is bigger. Why do we need to double letter G? If your short adjective finish into consonant and before it we have stress short vowel, you should double the last consonant and only after that add our suffix er. Which activity dangerous? Reading or skiing? Which activity is more dangerous? Reading or skiing? And I know what you should answer that I'm sure skiing is more dangerous. The next exercise are uh, where you need to put the words in the correct order to make the sentences. At first, to save your time, you need to read all the words in a line. One, pizza, food, the, is, the, tastiest, world, in. And you need to use what form of adjectives? Superlative adjectives. Let's put the words in the correct order. Pizza is the tastiest food in the world. Next, is the, the USA exciting most country world the in? The first one should be the USA is the most exciting country in the world. The next line in world the the amazon is river the widest the amazon is the widest river in the world we say about one object in the whole world climb to the mount fuji favorable most august is month Oh, it's too long, but I suppose you will, I will help you. That is, the first word should be August. August is the most favorable month to climb Mount Fuji. Good job, you know that you are great students. Next exercise. Oh. It's too complicated because uh, you need to use at first 
comparative form and after that the superlative form in one sentence and I will help you when you want to say the superlative form use but first let's talk a bit about the cars do you like cars yeah me too ferraris mercedes bugattis we need to use both degrees of the comparison of the adjective expansive at first we need to compare ferraris and mercedes and after that say which of these cars are the most expensive and what do we have ferraris are more expensive than mercedes but bugattis are the most expensive where is the comparative adjective right more expensive and superlative the most expensive let's compare the climate or the weather condition in three uh, countries sweden spain and the antarctica and we need to use our adjective cold let's think is it short or long ones yeah that is short sweden is colder than spain but the antarctica is the coldest say the superlative form yeah the coldest the comparative one colder than are you keen of on chemistry let's compare water ice and mercury and use our adjective heavy what is the heaviest i'm sure that you know the answer and what do we have water is heavier than ice but mercury is the heaviest we have already done three exercises where we work with the comparative and superlative form of adjectives and at home we need to write these five sentences and underline the mistakes rewrite the sentences correctly killer whales are fast than sharks polar bears are the most largest predators on land what is the more beautiful waterfall in the world what is the expensivest shop in your country spain is the most attractive than north america i will help you and let's find the mistakes together everything is correct where is the mistake in the first one right fast think about the structure polar bears are the most largest predators on land where is the mistake the most think about that the next one more something else uh, need should be there instead of more can you use the structure expensivest is it short think is it short or long adjective and if you compare spain and north america can we say the most yeah i will help you to underline mistakes and pay your attention to them and your task rewrite these sentences correctly and now can you travel in the world? Yes, you can. Can you tell something about different places there using our degrees of comparison of adjectives? Yes, you can. Can you f 
find some, mis some mistakes in sentences? Yes, you can. Don't forget that we use our degrees of comparison of adjective for comparing two objects of people or saying that is something unique in the whole world and write the sentences correctly. That's all for today. You know that you are such attentive students. Stay healthy and take care. See you soon. Bye.